Hi guys, this is Aaron, and today we're going to teach you a little bit about kiting in League. This is my volunteer, Suckman. Say hi. Hi, bitches. Me. Yeah, yes. alright. So, kiting is the act of auto-attacking and moving at the same time while not taking any damage. It's typically done on an AD carry, such as Caitlyn. Since my volunteer has been an ass, he built full speed and armor to ruin my day. Look at that shit. Oh, sorry. Why? Itemization is very important when learning how to kite. Normally, you want a Phantom Dancer for the movement speed and for the attack speed, or a Frozen Mallet or Red Buff, so you can slow them and then actually kite. When you're kiting, normally you want to move and attack at the same time. So, getting Furor boots is a very good choice. Here's a demonstration of bad kiting. So, bad kiting. That was a demonstration of very bad kiting. See how I didn't move to the full extent and abused my auto attack cooldown? When you auto attack, it, it, it has a cooldown, and when you're kiting, you want to use that cooldown, and in that time frame, you want to move to the extent that you can. This is an example of good kiting. So my friend here is going to lunge at me again. Let's go. See how I moved every single time I auto attacked? Now when you do this, you don't really want to right click all the time because that can get really really confusing. So what you want to do is you want to press either shift or A. A stands for attack obviously, so it commands your champion to attack. So it's very easy and you don't have to waste clicks. You can also use shift which is even better, which uses even less clicks. Hopefully you learned a little about kiting today and subscribe for more on FGN Tech.